guys. So um, these are words I got on 2 6 24 around 11 30 p.m. And then it ended, you know, sometime like one in the morning. Um, the time approaches. That's the title. And there's um, four different little subsections. The impact, anointed, church awaken, and a light in the sky. So number one, the impact. Now, this is the word of the Lord. The impact approaches stand pure before me. Fight in prayer. The moments dwindle. Show who fights. The peace of the world is about to erupt into chaos. Man has plans to disrupt those that govern. Those that govern have plans to control all that are under their care. To end the rebellion, bombs will drop. Fear will rise on the earth, but not for those who trust me and pray for safety. I will guard them. When the impact hits, the world will know who is safe. Those safe have full faith. When the test comes, show your faith. Know that I will protect. Number two, anointed. Anointed, you tire. Hold on, not much farther. Tap into my renewal. Be renewed. Be bold for me. Pray for yourself, for your loved ones, and for your community. The moments dwindle to store up these prayers. For your time to go is soon. Your prayers have been heard for your loved ones, your spouses, and your children. I will turn them for your sake. Your faithfulness I will honor. You do well. Man will be tested, pushed to the edge. This is what it will take to bring them to me. Have faith, I know. I will turn them. Do not worry about how or when. I will bring to their remembrance the things you said that they dismissed. No words will be wasted. They will come to understand. The many will be pressed and tested many will come to me more than you can imagine but some will stay in their rebellion only those in rebellion will stay for the great tribulation everything will change after the worldwide rapture no one can imagine how different daily life will be it will be a very difficult time on the earth the fear will be extreme the difficulties will be extreme and the faith will be extreme it will be all or nothing in me or in the world. Those will be the only two options. Lukewarm Christians will not exist. Most fear this terrible time, but I will shine hope into this hopeless time. I will bring every lost sheep to me and there will be safety. I will also send my agents to wipe the earth of the unclean those who choose the beast and his system will also choose his mark these will be wiped from the earth for their blatant abominations keep praying intently for the lost that their hearts are softened and that their chains are broken i want none to suffer your prayers matter they have mighty power number three church awaken Church awaken. Soon the church will awaken. Rejoice. Those who find you odd, who are filled with me and our mind, and are called wrong or crazy or dramatic about these times, they will awaken. They will join the movement. They will embrace the Holy Spirit freely. The wonders that occur from my power will shift their thinking, and they will begin to understand me finally. They have no hope currently because they do not lean on to me for their survival. Now that particular line, I happened to look at the time and it was 1155 in the Strong's. That means to loan on interest or borrow. And it also means unripe grapes or sour grapes. So these sour grapes, these people that are not fully mature, they're going to loan or borrow from us faith and they're going to learn hope. Okay, so I'm going to read that sentence again. They have no hope currently because they do not lean on to me for their survival. 
Their hope rests on themselves until they find that this does not work. Then they will turn fully to me. They will turn. Then when you speak, it will be of interest. Your dreams will be helpful to share. Your knowledge of the end will be key information. Your understanding of prophecy in the word will be very valued. No longer will you be shunned or looked down upon or seen as crazy for holding your views. Finally, your knowledge in these things will be craved. Hold on, the time approaches. Focus on what is to come, not today. The time is sooner than you think, but never soon enough for those that are impatient. When it is too much, go outside in nature, commune with me and my creation. I will encourage you and give you new joy and motivation. Number four, a light in the sky. A light comes in the sky, then more. This will change things. The deception deep and well-crafted to fool even the church. Do not fall prey. This is false. When you see this sign, know it has begun. The deception to bring in the false Messiah has begun. Do not speak his name. Do not fight. Do not argue. Watch as hearts are tested and see who knows me. Those who have followed my instructions and have read the gospels of my son's words many times will not be fooled. Those who avoid their Bible will be shown fools. Do not fret as even pastors and church leaders fall prey. This is the dividing of the church, the sheep from the goats. I will give the goats many chances to come back to me, but their public shame will be known by my true believers who do not fall prey to this deception. This deception will be before and after the war, used in different ways. Stay steady with me, no matter what others around you do, I am truth. Be prepared to stand firm with humility and a quiet heart, not arguing about it. You may be put into a situation that you have to make a choice and say, I choose Jesus, or the Jesus of the Bible is the true Messiah. Do this with boldness and you will have all of my protections. I will lead you to others with like minds. You will all be kept safe and pray together. Pray for each other starting even now. All of mine will be spared. All of mine will pass the tests to come. I will guide and empower you. There is nothing that can harm my little children. The days are few. Prepare in prayer and read my son's words. Stay suited up fighting the enemy. The time of testing will be short for those that are mine. Hang on to me and I will carry you. Be of good cheer. The beginning is soon. So I hope you find that encouraging and I'll see you next time.